and welcome back to another episode of Victoria 2 on the Dark Discipline at Let's Play. So last guy's episode, you guys saw me in a very glitchy state. Where I was just, you know, almost being completely and utterly taken over by my computer's lack of duality. But luckily I saved it. Luckily it stopped freezing enough to where I could save it and we now have a stable file to where I can get back to this point and oh, we we got back to this because I just won a war against you against the greatest power in the world so you know I deserve like cake party and lots of other things that's why I believe I am entitled to so let's see right now we are not actually supporting anything so we just don't have enough Well, since the main fighting's over with, we don't have to quite as drastically um, cut us down. But we still need to we still need to go defeat one more force, and we'll do that. So, um, everyone, I kind of did the numbers in my head about you know taking a region like the United Provinces over here, which would add in a significant amount of population to us. I mean, that's almost, it, just in that one province right there, we gained 1.23 million. That's extensive amount of population. That would basically, secret police to the rescue. That would basically make us as powerful as any other person. I mean, we could basically now compete with all the other powers for, like, population, and we don't have to worry about any of that kind of stuff. So, you know, it's a pretty significant thing. Um, the only, the only downside is, is that I think to get this, this region is that I'm gonna have to stay at war with, um, yeah, we're actually making money. Okay, so how much do I have in debt? 9,000. Okay, I'll start paying that off in a second. Let me destroy this army over here. Let it operate. Why not? Being a little bit more open since we have to, we need the populace to help us. Okay, you guys go hunt down the rest of those guys. You guys go over here. But yeah, we're basically just going. It probably take the rest. It probably take me. This is probably this is gonna be about 27 more score right here. So then to probably get that, I probably need to get this, everything of this, and then oh my goodness, really great timing, Persia. Great timing. Oh my goodness, I have two armies over here. What I'll do is I'll go send them both to go fight against the Persians. Uh, so was hoping that I could just relax. So was hoping that I could just relax. But apparently the Persians want to fight me. So we'll give them a fight. We'll give them a fight to the death. We'll give them a fight to the death to the death of the fight. And they will honestly all die. So, let's see. What are we dealing with? We have a 27,000 Persian, 21,000 Persian army. 3,000 people died in just that little scrub. Okay, um, over here our people are doing pretty okay. Fine, so I'm not even going to really worry about them. Until I start seeing big armies, I'm not going to worry. Over here, though, this is where the real consequence is. So we can't move our army fast enough over there to conquer everything. But yeah, we will probably need to conquer all of India, of British India, before I think the British will surrender. So... That kind of stinks, but it'll give us some time to do stuff. So I'm not even going to add the war goal yet because I also realized, cleverly, I, I was so close. Like, I was so very close to like, declaring, war, declaring it last episode. I'm so glad that glitch happened because what I realized is that if we declared war right now, it'd be 10 infamy and we'd be over our infamy limit. And I would gain most certainly somebody would want to take us over or, you know, do a war containment. Oh, uh, lag. So, you know, I'm just not going to deal with that. And it seems like these guys are... Oh, my goodness. This is more than I can deal with. Okay. Persia, I know I usually don't like to say this, but you guys win. You guys win your region back. Because you know what? That... You guys deserve it. You guys seriously deserve it. And I want to make sure that we... Honestly, I like Persia and all that, but we really need to focus on our own provinces over here this is really way more important like way more important if we can start conquering actual India 
this becomes an actual let's play of importance. And I know I lost my iron deposits, but I swear I can find other iron deposits somewhere else. Maybe you guys can start thinking of places that you've done or conquests that you've done that you know will have future iron deposits. And I need a new place to like start doing stuff, so I'm going to encourage Craftsman over here. Should help whatever business is faulty. Let's see, we have a thousand... Of course, in this one place, I don't really want anything. Cohesion's almost there. Really? In Cohesion, we actually have a decent-sized people that are population. That's good. Um, uh, we're moving more of our soldiers in to go clean up all this mess over here. Uh, man. Yeah, as long, we, as long as we're going to have to do things. So, to gain that little region, though, I want, it's probably going to take me a long, long time of being at war with with the British because I definitely don't want to have every other great power have a reason to attack me that would be very bad okay very very bad okay that's wow they're dying like flies I don't know what the British have been teaching their soldiers but they are not teaching them how to fight okay so you guys you guys go right there okay and we're making a lot of money wow we might actually be able to pay off all of our interest total funds let's see interest 6.5 let's pay off about a good percentage of that right now that will do no I still have interest dang no I have less interest that's good okay yeah now you see I'm starting to make a lot more money that's because I had to pay off some of the interest I owed to those countries which is is kind of like oh did they just try to attack me I think they did I think it failed I'm just gonna increase this by a little bit because we're almost there. I almost have the interest problem almost done with. Which then once we get rid of all of our interest. Actually, you know what? Let's get rid of all of our interest first. Then once we get rid of all of our interest, we can get back to um, supporting our men to the fullest. And, you know, resupplying them and all that. Because right now we just need to like. We just need to make sure, first of all, that they do not combine any troops together make any super big armies that would affect us right there and there and kill us like we would have no chances at that point and medicine would be a really good technology right by now okay seems like they seem to have more and more men coming in that's not necessarily good and I'm not really healing my men right now because I'm trying to destroy the rest of my interest so I want to just okay yeah they're definitely grouping up that's a mediumly sized army not exceptionally big that's good okay I think I have enough yet no, 6,000. Okay. Almost there. We almost have all of our debt paid back. See, I always pay my debts back on time. Okay. Once we have all the debt paid back. Okay, we're going to gain like a 1,000 in, in the positives. Just so I have some money. Money. Okay, never mind. Back to being in debt. <laughs> uh, it was a nice period of just being not in debt. But we need to be back in debt so we can start, like, healing our soldiers. Yeah, because they're dying at quick rates. We don't need that. Okay, yeah. This, uh, seems like we have more and more Brits coming into our land. We're going to start annihilating some of this. That is not a good sign when Brits are starting to come into your land much more. <sighs> so, yeah, we're basically going to have to conquer all of Brittany. And wait a long time. Go right here. Ah, dang, they're retreating back into the little pathetic vassals land that's cheap All right seems like the Ottomans seem, yeah that's the Ottomans color okay seems like the Ottomans are conquering a little bit of the Britain's land it's good uh, it helps us out a little bit because that means we don't have to worry about that place and that destroys another bit another potentially big British army it was a battle of Delphi it doesn't look like they're coming after us anymore we're just going to keep moving down at quickening pace. Alright. But we have to really stay vigilant, though. That's the one thing we have to really stay, because at any point in this entire thing, we could have one big, gigantic army come in and just completely and utterly destroy us. I mean, I've seen it happen a lot of times. I always think I'm winning this war, and then somehow the British pull out this secret, you know, Chuditsu army I've never seen before I'm just like how did you do that and then it inevitably ends to my death and let's see how much debt are we 
Oh my goodness, we almost made up the exact positive amounts of debt. Wow. Almost so close. Well, at least I repaid my debt before I went back into debt. I guess that's the positive here. And I swear, there's like a secret six army stack. That's not too big. We can still manage that. It isn't to the point of being ridiculousness. Alright, so we have this much. Okay, you guys move down there. See, these places right here, you're having a really hard time to conquer. No, they do have cannons. Then, why are you guys taking so long? Aha, I knew you guys. Go destroy these force. Maybe have them group up so we can destroy them faster. Mm. We need to deal with this, and we need to stay very vigilant. <laughs> I'm, I'm Seriously, people, I'm not really laying my guard down for anything. So if we let our guard down, that's the, that's the way they kill you. That's definitely the way that this game works. Now, if you let your guard down for one second, they all come in. And then you have a problem. Then you have a problem. Right, my supply limit has increased, so that should help us with a lot of things. Namely, the fact that we can get more stuff. Um, right now, we're doing pretty good, so... Actually, let's get some romanticism, because I want to... We're ninth right now in prestige, and... You know, once this war ends, we're probably going to be pretty well rowing, rowing in good prestige. So maybe we could use that to help us boister us up to great powerness. Because I know our economy is going to be damaged for like the next couple years. <laughs> Alright, trying to build this. Okay, there are being, I feel like there are way too many troops now. With that much army, they could actually build a decent sized army. We don't need that. We need them to all die now. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do the dance. Don't please don't do the dancing move that I do. All right. Yeah, they, they're gonna stay alive. They definitely want to stay alive. Okay, well, I'll just move down here. Go back here. Okay, I'm gonna have you guys wait for a second. Wait for them to go into that little region. Go. Go right here. Ha! Now they're gonna stay right there. I'm gonna start moving in right here. And they're all dead. Move back here. You guys go back here. You no, know, actually, I'll have those guys over there deal with that situation. And then, yeah. We have two armies moving in on this position. Oh, that's sad. Yep, they're all dead. <laughs> it's like, he's dead, Jim. He's dead, Jim. Okay. So we have that army staying right there. Actually, I'll have you guys move over here so you guys can stop some of the new troops that are trying to be made. Okay, so definitely the British want peace now, but we only have 24 war score. If I was to get what I wanted, um, it would take a little bit. And it's a good thing these guys cannot declare status quo. So I don't have to worry about, you know, dragging this war on too long and, you know, having their feelings hurt or something. No, they have to stay in this war until I say it's mandatory for them to leave. But before that happens, I have to gain, because I know this is going to be at least 27 war score, so we need more than 27 war score to beat the British. Which, right now, if we just keep taking on these little territories, we'll be fine. And I also have to make sure to wait until my ter until this is like at 14.99, and I know I'm, I'm going to, I know I'm going to be doing that. Okay. Glory to Allah, everyone. So, I don't know if that was a new episode or anything, but it seemed like one. So, I'm just going to say it is. Um, right now, we have a peace from the UK, which we could graciously accept, but that's not the reason we're, why we're here now. We're here to reconquer some of India. Since the British wanted to add a war goal against us, let's add a war goal against them. Let's take some of their land. Because, I mean, we're doing really exceptionally well. Like, we have almost all of northern India underneath our control. We are rapidly, I mean rapidly, we are just crushing almost all British resistance. And I'm so glad they can hide a causes bed lie against us. Okay, oops. These guys are still running. Hunt them down like dogs. Do not let them run anymore. What? What the heck? Oh my goodness, that was a complete flop on my part. Oh. Somehow they got, sorry people, I don't know how they did this, but they got 24 stop, 24 troops just randomly there. Um, I'm going to go try to save my, my position here. I'm not sure if these guys will be in time. 
almost set. Dang it! Why? Okay, well, I'm gonna go save him. I'm gonna still attack this position. I'm gonna wait actually till they leave. Because these guys are gonna hunt down my troops. Until the 7th. So. 4, 5. No, he did not hunt down my troops. So I'm gonna kill these guys. Okay, so we have a potentially dangerous army right there. Definitely powerful than what we've seen in the last couple of showings. I'm gonna go down to take over Calcutta. Because I know that's the imperial capital of the British right now. And having that will definitely strengthen our numbers. Okay, but we definitely have a bigger army than what we've usually seen in this game. Um, I'm gonna start moving my men back to start dealing with it. Have you guys heal up. Oh yeah, the reserves. I don't think they can heal up. Well, actually, they might be able to if they just if I just keep them in this region right here. I know you guys want peace, but I'm not giving you peace until... Ah, dang, that like gave them a good war score. Okay, well, I've never done an attack before, but let's try it. I mean, we weren't doing too bad when we were attacking them, and they're not in any big plains areas. Prestige bonus... Could take a little bit more down. I need to get some edu not education, but some tax benefits. Otherwise, we could start falling behind even more. Okay. You guys are the only troops that are actually trying to do stuff. Okay, you guys are going to engage them. You guys go right there. Should be able to counteract that. Uh, charge. Yeah, that should... Ah, dang. Oh, man. That might have made the wrong decision there. Charge! Save them! Save the pathetic fools that I accidentally sent to their deaths. Yeah, definitely sent these guys to their deaths. They were not great at attacking. Oh my goodness, they're gonna die. They're so gonna die. Yeah, I, I don't think... Usually when I get there, it's like the battle's almost over with. Okay, I might... Organize a crackdown. I might have just saved us some time. I'm gonna go send over the rest of my troops. Okay. Okay, you know what? A little bit revenge. I know this was like four armies, but let's go take down these guys. Let's see, they're heading to Delphi, actually. Send all my men to Delphi. We gotta make sure this force dies, though. That's definitely something we have to make for sure. Go right here. Trap them. Oh, dang, we don't need them to escape. Oh, wait, we can use this land to our... When can we use this land to our advantage? Okay, they're obviously not scared. I'm going to go send these guys over there to go help the situation. I don't know who's on the defensive, who's on the attacking. It looks like we're hitting almost all the numbers, so... That's good. Um, looks like they're heading more and more into their own land. Let's see, are there any other British soldiers attacking? No. But we need to destroy these guys. <laughs> They just annihilate some of our own troops, so now we need to definitely destroy destroy them. Um, we also need to, at the same time, build a kind of semi, just in case. I have a feeling that they have much more in store for us, so just in case, I'm going to build a semi-good army. Just in case. No, we actually only need three. Three, and then one engineer. There we go. I'll build a new army in our states, and I know it's going to cost me a lot of money, but we need to chase down this army to death. Make sure it dies. With whatever with whatever its secrets it has, it dies there. There we go. That should turn the battle into our tides. Nope, it's still killing us. This army is amazing. Okay, well, obviously I can't attack it anymore because it's just going to kill me. So I'm just going to, like, retreat and start conquering more. Uh, that was a bad move. Like, seriously, they just, like... Oh, shoot, I didn't mean to attack it again. That was not my plan. Well, we did do some critical blows to it. Oh, I think we destroyed it. Well, that was my plan all along. Huh. Uh. Did they conquer Khalid again? Oh, my goodness. I'm gonna have to go deal with that in a second. Okay, right now I'm just trying to like gain back our war score that we lost because of that one battle. Oh, 
Yeah, we need to build an entirely new... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a new army right here. Have that go conquer back to lead. Have this army go back over here to the main capital. In fact, what I might do is demobilize and then mobilize again. Because right now our forces are really, really weak. And it might just help it if I just demobilize now. Well, I think I should probably wait until that is reconquered. Once that is reconquered right there, then I will go and do what I just said. Because <laughs> I need to make sure this is all reconquered. And having that little region right there will definitely help us out. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got 1481. That means no matter what I do, they will not declare war on me. Okay, well, let's add the war goal. And let's see. If they really want out of this war, then they will accept my priest offerings. And yeah, it's, I know... I know it's a little bit early, but it'll at least tell them what we want, and since we already own it all, it'll help us out even more. Because now they know what we want, and now they'll definitely fight us for it, tooth and nail. That'll be good. Ah, oh, come on! Where did they get that army? Okay. When is this army going to be built? In a couple days. Don't worry, James. Okay. We're going to have to go send all of our forces. You know, I'm just going to dismobilize. No, not yet. Just be patient. Be patient. Okay. Go send this army over here. We're going to go try to bait them into attacking us. Because that's still defensive hills right there. going to have you guys wait in Lahore. Once the these guys are almost done. Come on. Finish up with this little tiny province right there. Yeah. It'll take them a little bit to conquer. We conquer all this. Okay. You guys quickly run. Just in case if they're hunting you guys down. No, they seem to be retreating. That means I'm gonna... Yep, I'll be able to escape before they'll be able to get past me. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna go move my soldiers into defense mode right here, actually. While we're building up our new army right over there. Do we have that? Okay. Now that we have that, I'm gonna demobilize. Can I mobilize? When can I mobilize again, I wonder? I don't know, but I'm going to go send you guys back to the capital to kind of heal up all your dead troops, or not really, maybe not the capital, maybe that's the wrong move. Maybe that is the wrong move. Um, what I'll actually do is go send you guys to just the outskirts of my land. Oi. Well, that's good. <laughs> I don't even have to do anything for that. Just like... They'll lose that battle no matter what they do. And I didn't even cause the war. Okay, so when can I mobilize again? Currently, yeah, we can raise 22 troops again. That'll be great. Let me just watch this. Dang, that was a big loss for them. Alright, let me just heal up some of my men before I start to try to do anything else. Yeah, 3.1. Are, are they going there? Was I already on, like... No. Hunt them down. We have to make sure they do not escape. Seriously, we have to make sure they do not escape. So if they escape, we're going to have to deal with future British people, and that's not good. Yeah, I'm realizing now I'm kind of like paraphrasing what I've already said. But this is like, this is like the point of war where I'm just like, I have to kill more. I have to kill more. Okay, I think they're all dead. So I'm going to go have you guys go reconquer all that land. You guys go reconquer all that land. Both of you guys together should be able to reconquer all that land pretty quickly. Don't have any more armies moving in. That's pretty good. They're probably making a lot, though. I wouldn't doubt it because this is their land. Technically still. But at least now we're giving them a run for their money. I think, I think the Turks declared peace. Yeah, they declared peace. So now we're the only ones at war with the Great British. So they have the full... We have their full and undivided attention. Which is always good in this kind of situation. Um, but we're still winning. <laughs> like, there's one thing that we cannot take away from this. Is that at least at some point in this game, we had been defeating the great British. And that's always going to be on the stain record. Is that we we did a lot to the great British. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to conquer Bella. And then I'm going to conquer all this region. That way I don't have to deal with it anymore. West Macedonia. Well. Okay. Tax efficiency should help us out a little bit. Should help give us a more. Um. Stronger start. Over here. I should. Should I get this? It's not really going to help me though at this point. Hmm. Association might help me. If I, re, if I redouble my efforts. 
Let's see, how much do we have in debt? Let's maybe try paying off some of our debt. Okay. You guys right here, go conquer Bella. Oh, we're making our new army. Hmm. You guys, go back to Calcutta, because that's the reason I really want. So that means I kind of expand it all across India. Oh. Now, I wish you could just, like, I wish you could do like you did in, like, um, what was it? Hearts of Iron 2, where you could just, like, you know, make a puppet area out of this place, and, you know, just start splitting up the regions like that, and then later go in and go take it over. You know, or something like that. That would be really awesome. Or I wish there was an event where you could just, like, annex your puppets. Like, you know, after a while of great relations, you guys can annex them. I'll be like, cool. Okay. I think... Did... No. Seems like... Seems like Greece's attempts to free itself did not go well. Africa's scramble is almost done. Mm. That makes me sad that I was not a part of it. But, you know, those are the shakes. I was in this war right now. And I'm keeping the Great British occupied right now, so... That's really well. That's just really good. I mean, right now we have more of our war score. I mean, they're having major bad war score from just the fact that we've conquered almost everything back. We have nothing. Yeah, this is just going to turn out bad for them. <laughs> uh, and this, our region, our main region is just like popping out soldiers left and right, which is good. <clears throat> and there is Calcutta. Calcutta, you will be mine. And I just realized, I've been saying it wrong previously and calling it Calcutta. It's Calcutta, I know. I know, I know. Like, memory-wise, I know a lot of things in my head and know how to say them in my head but when I actually say them out loud they usually somehow it goes somewhere it goes awry and I usually say something weird like Calcutta because I'm usually well I well this is a little secret about me but when I when I go through school and I don't know a word or something I just go to the nearest simple sounding thing like um just like that if I see Calcutta I'll say if I can't pronounce it quickly enough I'll say Calcutta and, you know, that kind of becomes a problem because then if I don't recognize that word is Calcutta and I keep calling it Calcutta, then I just look like a complete and other idiot. Which sometimes I do on the internet. But isn't that what everyone on the internet is? Gigantic idiots. Okay. Let's go right here. And, yeah. This war is inevitably the longest war I've ever been in that's just been about me conquering India. Okay, we have our third army being built right now in the background. That's good. Our industry has strangely gone up, and I haven't really done anything. <laughs> like, legitly, I haven't done anything. Yeah, our industry's gone up. Well, I kind of realized that would go up. Um, I think our luxurious goods factory is keeping up due to the demands of... Demands I started. Okay, reinforcements are now a little bit higher. So if I wanted to... So if I wanted to mobilize, I have a... I think a slightly better chance for right now I don't really want to because right now we're doing good enough as it is we don't really need to mobilize I mean there is no need we could just conquer we can also just conquer all of India with just this army mm. you know if this gets way too boring for you guys I'll definitely cut out a lot of this but right now I don't want to be like stopping the recording and then you know somehow have a big gigantic you know you know, somehow have a big UK army somehow move in from out of nowhere and then you'll be like, oh shoot, I don't have my recording software up and you know, you guys missed that big battle. So I think, I think I'm just going to record it straight away and then, yeah, but dang, we won our first battle against the UK, that's for sure. Don't know what that does. Hmm. Which is positively amazing. Uh, let them, why not? Let's see, what's the biggest concern right now of everyone's mind? Let me guess. Voting? Basic school system. Wow. Even in this, they still love basic school systems more. You know, that actually increases our efficiency, which would not be bad to have a little bit better efficiency in terms of our education. Uh, Russia! Hmm, do I want you guys to have military access? Sure, if you guys will become friends. We're buddy buddies, in a sense. I mean, I fought your greatest enemy and won. 
without really having to do anything. So, you know, I should gain some credit for that. You know, I, I, I should gain so much, like, European rep for this because, I mean, I beat, I beat the, the, the stupid UK f for Pete's sakes. I mean, not even some of the own great powers could say they beat the UK. And yes, I haven't technically won yet, but I basically won. This is just like, I'm just waiting until the UK, uh, until the UK finally says, okay, I give up. We're going to let you guys conquer it. Mmm, and my throat's starting to hurt. This is really becoming long. Let's get this little region right over here. Mm-hmm. We're still making, we have just two more men, and then we can stop making men, okay. We're going down to Bombay, everyone. Bombay. 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 I think that's how you pronounce it. Bombay. Okay, we had a lot of money, and now we're not making a lot of money. That isn't good. That is not good. We want to make sure we keep making money, because if somehow something goes wrong, this could, we want to make sure we have enough money to fall back on stuff. Oh, by the way, can we put, can we actually repay back all of our loans? We can repay you back all of our loans. I'm totally gonna do that. That should actually help our money woes a little bit. At least even them out a little bit. Yep, <laughs> we're finally making money again, people. All because I paid back all of our loans. Uh, I'm so glad loans are in this game. And I'm glad they're actually real too. Like they aren't like. See, this is one of the mechanics I really did like about Victoria too. Is the fact that loans are actually there. And they're not just randomly spontaneously combust. You know, they just they they isn't like out of thin air, like isn't like some some random like god player that you haven't even seen yet gives you money out of nowhere and expects you to pay it back. No, these are actually from other countries that can legitly hurt you if you do not like repay them back in a good, timely, orderly manner. So you know, I, I always think I always thought that was really cool. You know, that's one of those, this is one of those times where I can actually compliment the game because I'm not, like, raging on it. But I really do like the, uh, loan system in this game. It's really, really quite well done. And I guess while we're on other things to compliment Victoria to, I do like the Nationalist mod. I mean, not Nationalist mod, the Nationalist map mode. It looks so awesome. Like, to see all the different cultural groups, I mean, and how it can actually change if you're really, really good at manipulating populations ah oh, it's so awesome okay we almost we're almost done with all of India over here which means then we'll be able to move on to other things oi wait no you're almost about done we almost got you at 50 percent I mean there's not much more I could really do after that point we have one more I mean I've we've almost wasted enough time to the point of I've almost made a third army and it's almost about ready to be sent in to go fight against you that's pretty extreme right there. That's pretty extreme. Wow, we are having a high birth rate here. Like, I'm not even... I, I'm pretty sure I'm taxing my people to the utmost... To the utmost of death. Of death. And yet you guys still have babies. Wow. Well, great state we live in. Penib. Great state of baby making. Where even if you guys are dying of starvation and hunger... Well, star starvation, no homes, and poverty, we still are making babies. But that means, like, that makes me feel bad. Okay. Oh my gosh, are you guys finally ready to give up? Oh my goodness, no way. <laughs> oh, I don't have enough energy to actually say it, but yay! I normally like if you, if you guys don't know if you guys don't know normally if this was a normal campaign I'd be yelling like something yes or you yeah, or something like that but my throat really hurts like severely really hurts I mean I'm I am not in the best of moods right now 50 taxes I'm just gonna get to like let's do like I want at least 200, yeah. Since I'm about to become a great power, I want to make sure I'm 200 strong. And you always want to make sure you tax the middle class, if you can, just a little bit more than that. And I'm going to build this up all the way up. Okay, so let's see, let's get our education all the way up again. Okay, back to taxing you guys a lot. 25. I really don't, 
administration isn't really that important, honestly, because it's at 100%. My effectiveness, crime fighting, I mean, it's it's good enough right now that I don't really need it. So everything's good right here. That's all. I'm, that's all I was trying to say. So everyone, we won a major victory right now. Panev is so close to the great power list like we are in shortness we are right there we just need to let's see how much do we have oh my goodness we are so close we have in total like 220 ah oh, dang France Spain why uh, you know what that's okay though we did something I didn't think, well, I thought we could do after a couple good calculations, but I wasn't entirely sure, and you know what, we did it. We conquered a little bit of India and started the process of doing the final event, Form India. And I just want to thank you guys for watching this episode, and as always, stay frosty, my friends. No, no, that was cheesy. Alright, see you guys next time.